Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to this broadcast of prayer and intercession. Um, today we're just going to really pray and decree and declare some things. God bless you, Sister Sharon. Help me invite somebody. Help me share this on your timeline. Help me share in various groups. It's going to be a wonderful time of prayer and um, intercession. And you really don't want to miss this. Anybody you know who needs prayer, go ahead and just get them on board. Make them come here. So we are going to pray. And really do some key things today. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Give you glory. It's going to be a mighty time of prayer. God bless you, prophetess Agnes. Bless you, woman of God. Love you. Love you. It's going to be a wonderful time of prayer. I really feel this in my heart. That God is going to shift some things today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are wonderful, Jehovah God. Love you. It's going to be a wonderful time of prayer. I really feel this in my heart that God is going to shift some things today. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Boraka Sata Bakaya Basaya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm just trying to get my friends here. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You have your way. Help me get your friends. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm just trying to get my friends here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And Masakara Badobo Sharababaye. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. You are wonderful, Father. You are wonderful, Father. We worship you, Lord. We extol you, Lord. We bless your holy name. You are wonderful, Papa. You are wonderful. Adonai, you are glorious. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Baba. It's going to be a wonderful time. You better believe it. You are wonderful, Jehovah. You are wonderful, Jehovah. Jacobo, come and begin to pray. Stir up your spirit. Stir up yourself. Stir up yourself in your most holy faith. Begin to speak in tongues. Begin to do something. Activate yourself. Jesus reign. Jesus reign. You are the king of glory. You are the king of glory. You are Judas Lion. We bless you, Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody pray. Pray. Help me get your friends online. Get your sisters, your brothers online. It's going to be a mighty, wonderful afternoon of prayer and intercession. We're just going to wait for our friends to come on. And we are going to begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Masaka Baya Sorebe. Thank you, Jesus. You are healing Savior. Rain, Jesus, rain. Jesus, rain. Jesus, rain. Jesus, rain. Jesus, rain. Somebody just hashtag Jesus reigns. Jesus reigns. Jesus reign in this place. Father, we ask you to reign. Have your way. Please help me share in groups. Share this broadcast wherever you can share it on your timeline. Share it and get some people on board. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
We worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you thanksgiving and we give you adoration. There is no one like you, Jehovah. Oh, Saka Bahaya. We thank you, Lord. Bless you, Father. Bless you, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. We worship you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Jesus, have your way. Yes, yes. That's the right spirit. Ask him to have his way. Oh, Rabakasando. Oh, Rabakasando. Oh, Rabakasando. Rababando si karabaye. Rebo kosa kabahaya. Manto boko sheke rebebe. Manto rigabado zagaba. We bless you, God. We worship you, God. We give you praise, Adonai. We give you thanksgiving. Oh, baragado sakado. Masaka badu zagarebe. Mezo gabade sakade. Madabo shakata. Rebado zikabaye. We bless you, God. Adonai, we welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Adonai, King of Glory. Yes, Lord, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, Sakabahaye, Bo Sokabahaya. Moto Kabalo, Bo Shikade. Manto Go Zikabarabashe. Manta Basikabayo. Manta Barobo Shekarababa. Yebo Sakarababa. God bless you, Sister Olivia. God bless you, Sister Beverly. God bless you, Nantoria Bakaya. Moko Rebaya. And let's just continue. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Spirit of the Living God. I release the blood of Jesus over this broadcast. Thank you, Father. 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 Mande riba bo ko shara baba manto riba kando si kerebe raba ko se karia baba manto bo ka shakate father we bless you father we worship you father we give you praise we give you glory we give you thanksgiving we give you adoration high in this place father there is no one like you we release the blood we release the blood of jesus we release the blood of jesus we release the blood of Jesus. We release the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over this broadcast. The blood of the Lamb. We release the blood of the Lamb. We release the blood of the Lamb. We deploy the blood. We deploy the blood of Jesus. We deploy the blood of Jesus. Come on, somebody pray. Somebody decree. Somebody declare. Somebody proclaim. Somebody call on Jesus. Somebody worship him. Somebody give him thanksgiving. Somebody give him glory in this place today. Oh, Rababa. Oh, Roboko Shika Rababa. Oh, Rakuda Yubuzika. You are great God. You are worthy, Lord. You are mighty God. Sorry, the network was really like giving so much problem. But I hope from now on the network is going to be fine. We are not going to stop. We are just going to continue praying. The network is not going to stop us. Just keep on praying. Just keep on believing God. Just keep on declaring. I'm struggling with the network, but it's not good going to stop us from praying it's not going to stop us from interceding it's not going to stop us from doing what god has called us to do we just plead the blood of jesus over this broadcast over ourselves over what god has called us to pray and do in this afternoon we bless the name of the lord we give god glory we give god praise we give god thanksgiving we give god adoration Oh Rabba Kasande, Oh Rabba Shikara Baba, Mento Boko Shere Bebe, Mo Saraba Baba Basherebo. Is anybody out there believing God with me that God is going to do something on this afternoon, something that we've never seen, something new? Hallelujah. Help me get our friends back online because the network came and tried to mess up things. But I pray in the name of Jesus that everything is going now according to how god we want us to be hallelujah just help me get hold of our friends while the network was playing on you know we lost some of our friends online 
but we're going to get them and we continue to pray hallelujah if you are out there please help me to share this on the groups help me to share this on your timeline just invite all your friends let us have an afternoon of prayer oh thank you holy ghost thank you father thank you mighty king of glory thank you adonai thank you holy ghost hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost oh god thank you father yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord you know the enemy is trying to mess up with this broadcast but i need you to release the blood help me share just select all your friends and get them on board hallelujah just get all your friends on board let's shame the devil let's shame the devil this afternoon oh shakara baba let's shame the devil this afternoon madoko shera baba mande bakasaya baba i welcome all of you I bless all of you. I thank all of you for being here with me. Because when God moves us to pray, the Bible says, pray without ceasing. It also says men ought to pray always. You understand? He said we have to pray always. So prayer is not something we do sometimes and then we don't do. But it is just what we do. So let's just keep on thanking God. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we adore you. We celebrate you, Father. We give you praise, honor, thanksgiving, and adoration. I thank you for my friends in Africa. I thank you for my friends in America. I thank you for my friends in the UK. I thank you for my friends in the Netherlands. I thank you for my friends all over the globe in Canada. I thank you, God, for what you are doing in this season. Father, I thank you. Oh, God. Father, we just thank you for new beginning. We thank you that it's a new day. It's a new season. You are doing a new thing. I'm just going to read a scripture. You know, I'm so excited about 2018 because, you know, we've gone through seven years and we suffered some things. We lost some things, but we are in a new year. But not just a new year because we step into 2018. It is a new year because God himself said to us, Behold, he said to us, he began to speak to us. I'm going to read um, again. I'm going to read Isaiah 43 to get us to where God has us in this season. I'm excited about the new things, new dimensions, new dreams, new purpose. Oh my God. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 43, verse, um, verse 19, I'm going to start from verse 15. It says, I am the Lord, you are, I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's Creator and King. I am the Lord who opens a way through the waters. He is the Lord who opens a way through the waters. This week I came on and I began to sing, God will make a way. And that's what God is really going to do. I don't know your situation. I don't know what you are dealing with. I don't know what the doctors have said to you. I don't know what they are saying at your job. I don't know what anybody is saying or telling you. But the word of the Lord for you is that God is going to make a way for you. Somebody just hashtag, he will make a way. In this season, God will make a way. It doesn't matter what you are going through. He said, even through the waters he will make a way how many of you know that when the children of israel they were facing a lot of this broadcast of today the enemy is really trying to get on my last nerves i'm telling you 
So the children of Israel, you know, when, when, they, when they faced a very difficult <clears throat> situation and their enemy was behind them and they were, um, the, the enemy was behind them and in front of them was a mighty Red Sea. How do you survive? But the God of all gods, the one who knows how to make a way, he made a way for the children of Israel to cross over. You will cross over no matter your situation. I don't care if Pharaoh and all his enemies and armies are behind you and there is a red sea in front of you. You serve a God. We serve a God. I serve a God who knows how to make a way where there seems to be no way. You may be facing a sickness situation. You may be facing a death. But I am a living testimony that God is also able to cancel your death. God has something called Depth cancellation. I was faced with a mighty debt many years ago. I couldn't pay it. The government was against me. They were after me and they were threatening me. But the God who makes a way, he came into my situation. He paid my debt supernaturally. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't know who this word is for. But I know that God is able to cancel debt. Some of you watching me, you have some bills that you cannot pay. And you are saying, oh my God, how am I going to make it? Are they going to come and take my house? Are they going to come and take my car? But God say, I make a way. I make a way. Somebody just hashtag God, we make a way. Yes, God, we make a way for you. God is going to make a way for you. Through that sickness, God, we make a way. Through that situation, God, we make a way. Whatever you are facing in your life, I am here to encourage you, to tell you, God is a way maker. The way maker, we find the solution. I am speaking to somebody you are watching me right now and you have a debt. You have something you have to pay and you don't have the resources. But God is saying to you, he will make a way. God will pay your debt. He will provide for you supernaturally. I don't know who I'm talking to. You better receive the word of the Lord. I tell you, whenever you come to this broadcast, you better believe you are in the presence of God. You better believe you are in the throne room of God. God is making a way. And God will continue to make a way for you. He will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. He said, I will I am your Lord. I will make a way. I will make a way through the waters. I will make a path through the dry sea. God will make a path. Sorry. He said, I will make a path through the sea. So it doesn't matter what is a sea in your life. And you think, how am I going to cross over? How am I going to succeed? How am I going to do it? God say, I will make a path for you. God is creating a way for you. God is creating a path path for you. You will not lose your way in the name of Jesus. Then verse 17 says, I call forth a mighty army of, of Egypt with his, I call forth the mighty army of Egypt with all his chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned and they drowned. Their life was snuffed out like the small candlestick. What is God saying? There may be a mighty army after you, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There may be a mighty troop after you. There may be a mighty what ever giant after you but God is reminding you today he said remember I am the one who pulled them God will pull your your enemies into the place of their of their own destruction somebody better be happy tonight God is saying to you do not worry about your enemies the Assyrians you see today you will see them no more oh my God my God God is saying to somebody the Amalekite you see today, you will see them no more. God is saying to somebody, the Amorites you see today, you will see them no more. Because God said, I am the one who is strategic in my warfare. When the enemy think they are after you, what they don't know is that they are actually pulling themselves into the place of their own destruction. Somebody just said, glory, thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, glory, thank you, Jesus. 
Where are my fire starters? I'm missing my fire starters online. Somebody just say glory. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying, whoever is after you, they are running to the place of their own destruction. I am the one leading them because sometimes your enemy can be so much after you that they forget to know that there is a God who watches over you from above. His glory is your behind protection. God will protect his own. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So God said he snuffed out their life. So you don't be worried about anything. The one who watches over you. The one who watches over Israel. He does not sleep. He does not slumber. Your God is always awake and always alert. He will make sure that your enemy are drowned. They are drowned in the things that you are afraid of. You may be afraid of the Red Sea. But God said fear not. God said fear not. I know how to to drown your enemies. I know how to disgrace your enemies. I know how to shame your enemies. I know how to bring your enemies into destruction. And let me prophesy to somebody, 2018 is the year that God recompense. Is the year that God deals with your enemies. Is the year that God fights your battle for you. Is the year that God does a new thing in your life. Is the year that God level every mountain in your life. Is the year in the name of Jesus that God brings down the high things in your life. Is the year that God begins to take care of your valley. 2018 is the year that the breaker goes in front of us. The breaker will go in front of us. He will destroy the mighty troop. He will destroy the troop of Pharaoh that is against us. He will drown them in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your eyes and see him. Because your victory is here. It's your time for victory. It's your time for dancing. It's your time for singing. It's your time for rest. Someone watching me out there, you are entering into your season of rest. Why? Because you've labored for too long. You've toiled for too long long you've cried for too long but God said now I'm turning things around for your good I'm turning it around for your good and it shall be suddenly there shall be sudden breakthroughs in your life there shall be sudden healings in your life there shall be sudden increase in your life your increase is coming in the name of Jesus God said fear not fear not somebody hashtag fear not Hallelujah. That is what God is doing. Then let's continue reading our scripture in Isaiah 43. In Isaiah 18, he said, but forget all that. Isaiah 43, 18. He said, but forget all that. It is not compared to what I am going to do. What God is saying to you have seen me done some great things in your life. You have heard me done some great things in your neighbor's life. You have heard me done some great things in people's life. You have read some great things in the Bible. You saw what I did with the life of Paul and Silas. You saw what I did in the life of Peter. You saw how I restored the broken. But God said forget all of that. It's not compared glory to Jesus. He said, what I did in the past, um, they are great. Um, what I did in 2001 was great. Um, what I did in 2002 was great. Um, what I did in 2003 was great. Um, what I did in 2004, 5, 6, and 7 was great. Um, and I thank you for celebrating me for that. Um, God said, you thanked him for many things. Um, you glorify him for many things. Um, but he says, forget all of those things um, because it's not to be compared to what God is about to do in your life is not to be compared to what God is going to do in my life in 2018 in 2018 God is taking the battle to the next level God is taking the battle to the next level God is taking you from glory to glory he says so forget the past um, forget the old glory Somebody better hear me. He said, forget the old breakthroughs. Uh, forget the things that I did of old. Uh, then in verse 19, uh, he said, he said, look, uh, behold, I am about to do a new thing. Uh, God is speaking to 
to somebody tonight. He said, Look, behold, see perceive i am about to do a new thing somebody hashtag god is doing a new thing come on just hashtag and glorify god for the new thing that he is doing god is doing a new thing if you believe it write it down god is doing a new thing he is doing a new thing in your marriage and you better believe it he's doing a new thing in your children and you better believe it he's doing a new thing in your family you better believe it god is doing a new thing oh my god god is doing a new thing if you have not shared this please help me share this share this on the groups share it on your timeline invite your friends because god is doing a new thing and you want people to come and receive the new thing God is doing a new thing. He said, forget the old things. I'm doing something new. I'm doing something new in your spirit. I'm doing something new in your mind. I am causing your mind to be renewed. You are being transformed by the renewing of your mind. When God wants to do a new thing in a person, one of the things he begins to do, he attacks your mind. He begins to work with your mind. He begins to work with your mind. Thank you sister Ingrid for inviting your friends he began to pray make sure the old mindset is gone because God will not put a new wine into a old, in an old wine skin. God is doing a new thing. So in this season of the new thing you will see some things will leave you some ideas will leave you some people will leave you some jobs will leave you some things will leave you some ideas or visions will leave you but don't be afraid it is your God claiming out the house. God is cleaning the old wine skin so that he can begin to pour new wine into the new wine skin. God is doing a totally new thing. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing right there wherever you are. Manto Ruku de Ribacadoro. He's doing a new thing. I proclaim a new thing in your life. I proclaim a new thing in my life. I proclaim a new thing in your children. I proclaim a new thing in my children. I proclaim a new thing in your ministry. I proclaim a new thing in my ministry. All over the earth. I still Tear up this world um, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, and I say, God, do something new. Father, do something new. Release something new. Do something new in my region. Do something new in my church. Do something new in my nation. Do something new in my spirit. Do something new in my relationships. Father, do something new. You are the God of yesterday. You are the God of today. You are the God of tomorrow but yet you do something new father do something new in my life do something new to cause me to laugh do something new to cause me to smile do something new to cause me to dance father i pray thee in the name of jesus i call upon heaven tonight let heaven hear the voice of his children let heaven hear the voice of his apostles heaven hear the voice of the intercessors heaven hear the voice voice of the apostles and the prophets hear the voice of the teachers hear the voice of the righteous your word says oh god when the righteous cry the lord hears them and delivers them from all their trouble as we cry unto you jehovah as we call upon you jehovah father hear us and do something new turn our situation around turn again our captivities do a sudden do a suddenly father we ask you to do a suddenly do a suddenly in my life do a suddenly oh god in my finances turn around oh god that which was meant for my evil for to harm us god turn it for my good in the name of jesus do something new he said forget all those things for i'm doing something new 
do something new in my mind because you begin to understand that when God wants to do something new, he starts from the foundation. He starts from the principal thing. And the principal thing I will tell you today, it is wisdom. But there is no wisdom that is truly of God if there is no fear of the Lord. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I pray over you and I tonight. God will do something new in our reverence to God that we begin to fear the Lord we begin to honor the Lord we begin to magnify the Lord the fear of the Lord should come upon the body of Christ do something new upon the body of Christ release your spirit the spirit of the fear of the Lord I proclaim I decree I release I activate by the power of the Holy Ghost the fear the spirit of the fear of the Lord come upon me now come upon you now force upon you the spirit of God the spirit of Elohim the seven spirits of God fall upon the church again fall upon his bride again I pray the father Adonai that today in the name of Jesus upon our children we fall your spirit upon our children we fall your spirit upon the young men, upon the old men, upon the young maiden, upon the old women. Let the spirit of God, the seven spirit of God, I proclaim, I release, I decree the seven spirits of the Lord, the seven spirits of God fall upon you right now. If you receive it, come on right down, I receive it. Oh shakabaya mento koro bo shekere me mento karuba kuda go zagade masuki ribikaya menta goro bo shakataraba Mento Bakashayaba. I decree the seven spirits of the Lord fall upon us. I decree the fear of the Lord come upon us. But not only upon us, let the spirit of God. Oh, Rababa, come on, somebody receive it. Somebody write down, I receive it. Come on, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Receive the seven spirits of the Lord. Let the spirit of might come upon you. Let the spirit of counsel. Let the spirit of God come and say, I receive it. I receive the spirit of the Lord upon me. Let the spirit of God fall upon me. Let the spirit of the fear of the Lord fall upon my children. Let the spirit of the Lord fall upon your children. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. Let it fall upon our homes. We break any demonic powers that we want to rule in our homes. Homes. As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Please help me to share this. Come and help me invite somebody. Somebody needs to be stirred up with the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs prayer. Somebody's child needs prayer. Somebody's mother needs prayer. Somebody needs to be activated to go back into prayer. I saw a chain just fell from your hand when I saw your name. I saw chains are being broken i saw chains prophet selling i saw chains over your life they are being broken by the power of the holy ghost by the power of this anointing coming to you prophet selling i see yokes are breaking roko bando shakabaya rodo bagaya you better receive it Prophet Sali, when I saw your name, I saw a breakthrough. I establish it in the name of Jesus. Rikoban to Rikabaye. Manto Rukado Shakata. Perudugu 
Bada Bazuka de Mantobo Konso Karababa. I pray upon you, Prophet Sali. I pray new unction. I pray new fire. I pray glory. I pray power. Rusuka do Zegaba. Mente Likabando Shekede. Manto Kosa Kataya. Your name is marked with great things. Your name is marked with greatness. Riko Go Yodobo. Mante Kasataya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Meru Dagusa Kade. Mento Kusa Gadoba. Niko Rabaguda Ge Shako Toba. Mento Zikete Koba Dobogoba. Come on, open your spirit for the new thing. God say, Behold, I do a new thing. Mento Guzi Gababa. Monto Kora Kabam. I pray for crystal. Broko Tuba Kashante. A new fire. Healing Mandoko Sharaba. Divine direction. Rusukabando. Mento Rukate Rababa. Mento Rikedoba Sakobo. Patukusi Kataraba. May God pick up crystal. Mosakabo. Palikoto Padigaba, Minsu Katabaye, Mente Rikabo Sakata, Warobaga, No more bondage, Nesuki Tikabado Shatata, Nesukuto Ko Baba Baba Baba, Manto Boko Shakata, He who believeth in me, says the Lord, If you believe in the Lord, He says, Out of your belly, Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Prophet Sally, God is on your case. I saw your belly. I saw the womb of your spirit. It is open. God said, I'm pouring a new fire. I'm releasing a new fire. The womb of your spirit is open. Open it unto God and call it Jehovah. Who shall Maso ko bande lele bosa. No ko bando bosa kata. God, we lift up G. Rivera. We lift them and their family unto you, God. Father, intervene in their situation. Father, cause your face to shine upon them. Mento kuzigado, manto boko sharada, monto bikato rebo, paradugu shekataba, minto rukade, mante rogobo. Sister Ingrid, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Rikotonda kadusa, minto boko katakato. Pala kuton de rigade, miso kudaba, manto rikaba du sakade, mento gazigado, manto rikade shakate, mento birikabaso, manto brikodo, manto barikatoba, mento lika sate. I lift up Mali, rutobo kasharalam. Every root of bitterness in you is being uprooted. They came to cause you to be bitter. Because said, daughter, I remove them. Peter seed out of you, Mali. Zukata. Beru tukabando. Shikede. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Masuka Rabade. Masuka Rabado Shekatora. Mikotoba Katura. Help me share this in the groups. Help me put this in every group you can put. Mento Kota Bakasaya. Mento Karuba Katugaze. Nebo koba ya baba, mego ba sakaya, sister Tineke, as I saw your name, I saw healing in your knees, it's like your knees sometimes pain you, you have a weak knee, because I'm taking away the weakness from your knees, I'm taking away the weakness from your hips, I see healing fire, sister Tineke, I see power of God coming from your hips and down to your knees, I nebo bo kada, Makuto, your feet will no longer hurt. The behind part of the vein of your feet is will no longer hurt because God is healing you. God is strengthening you. God is empowering you. God is releasing you. Manto ko shekado, manto kalido ko sakate, tarudugo dabade, manto zukata. I see new knee kappa, new knee kappa. Those of you online who are having knee problems. Holy Ghost fire is releasing you now. You are releasing and receiving a new knee 
Kapa, Moto Katuza, Moto Kabadu, Mento Buku Saraba, Mento Brikadoza, Harugudu Gasheredo, Minto Parikatoza, Daguzo Kabade, Mento Buko Sankadoba, Mento Ricado, Marekatura Kadoze, Rokotigado, Mente Rasu Kakaka. Someone online, you have a problem with your throat. I send the power of God, I send the hand of God down into your throat and I crush down the cancer. Rokote Rosota, Brokatona Buraba, Mesukatobo, cancer cells are being destroyed in the authority of Jesus Christ. Reketo, Parikoto, Patubia, Minto Sakatoya. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I am doing something new, says the Lord. Madugus Gadoboha, Hubacado Koboba, Rutopada Kisikado, Mantukura Katonde, Menteba, Palakoba, Mentoko, Karugo, Horukashate, Prophet Sali, hear the word of the Lord. He said, I break every fear over you. Huzakaba to Kadade, Hesu Kato da Kadaga, any spirit of fear over your life is being broken. Any spirit of fear. Fear over you is being broken. Fear not, says the Lord. Miso rotoba, natukaro tukabande, nento ruka si katabale, mantulia kapaya, miso kora baba, mento ruku tabadoba, minto bika su katarade, ruka tura baba, menso kura baba. I stir up the heavens, ruzegedobo. Every harvest that belongs to us that has been held up by demonic powers, by the prince of pressure. Today we put power, we put pressure, we put fire, we put the power of God and the arm of God against the prince of pressure. And we say, lose your hold over our children, over our blessing, over our breakthrough. We press fire. In the name of Jesus. Hoshele Bakayata. Mantoboko Salala. I stand in agreement with your husband. Your husband told me for his work. May God do a new thing. Montobika tu kataga. Gedugo bakaye ketio kota kuda. Hindo kota katugaga. May God give your husband favor at his job. Hopa tokoduba. Hinto kuza kado. Mente likatale. Telikodosha. Any blessing that belongs to the children of God. Father, I come in your presence this afternoon. I say, God, in this time when you are doing a new thing, Father, release the blessing. On earth, I lose it. I lose the blessing. The harvest, the increase of the children of God lose and come down. Let there be a manifestation. Let there be a manifestation. Let there be a manifestation. Rikobo Salaba Minto Roba Shakate. Let there be a manifestation. The harvest that belongs to the children of God. We decree and declare. Somebody hashtag no more delay. I just have 20. I just need 10 people to hashtag no more delay. We are decreeing and contending for our blessing now. So come and help me hashtag no more delay. We proclaim no more delay. I just need at least 10 people to write down right there on the comments. No more delay. Thank you, Sister Sharon. No more delay. Come on, everybody. Hashtag. Let us have one voice. Let us have unity. Let us have unity on this place. We decree no more delay. We hashtag no more delay. We proclaim no more delay. Come on, no more delay is on the way. Come on, Activate it, write it down, make it plain back to the face of the enemy in this season. We proclaim as one voice, as the church, one can chase a thousand to ten thousand. We proclaim no more delay. Come on, everybody, write it down so the devil know we mean business and heaven we record it that it is written by the righteous today. We lose it, no more delay. 
Hoba kashaya. Hoba kashaya. Hoba ilabo sokoto. Meko toro kobo sheke. Come on somebody release it. Let it be established. No more delay. Hoba na sukata. Oh, Banasukata. Oh, Banasukete. No more delay. Come on, release it this afternoon. Let God know the children of God has been established in it. The Bible says, Ye shall decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. He said, Write the vision down. So please write it down. No more delay. He said, Write it and make it plain. Today we are writing it down, and we are making it plain. I write it upon the sky. I write it upon the universe. I write it underneath the sea. I write it in the heavenlies. And I decree by the voice of God. I release apostolic pressure. And I decree no more delay. Delay is over. Masoko. Matobakitobo. Nokotalikoboya. Metoboko sheleba. He kono shalada, men to call agaba, burikado shelede, no more delay. We proclaim it. The Bible says he has given us a case, the case of the kingdom. When we proclaim a thing, whatever we lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So today we lose, we lose no more delay upon the earth, on the children of God. We lose it and we bind delay. We bind the spirit. That cause delay. Any power. Any attitude. Uh, that cause delay. Holo kambuta laga. We choke it by the power of God. Uh, we take it by the neck. Uh, and we frustrate it. Uh, we say be thou removed. Uh, from amongst us. In the name of Jesus. And we establish. No more delay. No more delay. In your life. Uh, in your ministry, in your marriage, in your financial breakthrough, the business you want to do this year, oh Masakabaye, the business you want to do, it shall spring forth, it shall spring forth, no more delay in your business, and it will not just spring forth, but it shall grow, it will flourish, it will multiply, somebody write down no more delay. Your business will break forth. Makado boka shikodo. Makarushe kato. Makado ko shekero bokada. Any curse of stagnation. Any curse of stagnation. Any curse of power of setback. We break it in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the Lord Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. Any ruling power. Causing setback. Matoko. Let me just see fire all over this broadcast. Where are my fire starters? Where are my fire starters? Rutaba kusekoto. Rutaba kusekoto. Rakoto bando sikate. Tokobo. No more setbacks. Somebody write no more setbacks. Because some of you in the years past, you were suffering with setbacks. You take one step front and then you go four steps behind. But I come in the voice of the Lord uh, by the authority of Jehovah. And I break that spirit. I break that cycle of setback uh, upon my life and upon your life. And I decree that from today, uh, we will move forward. We will we move forward. We will move forward. No more set back in Jesus' name. La kode kasaya. La kode kashaya. No korea kabaya. If you have just joined me and you have not shared this broadcast on your timeline, please just press share button and you will share and bless other people. And you will share and bless the people who need the blessings of the Lord upon them. Forward in Jesus' name. Yes, Sister Tinike. Forward in Jesus' name. No more setback. We are moving forward. 
Forward in Jesus' name. We are marching forward in the power of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we are moving forward. I decree my legs will not be stagnated. Any power holding my feet in a stagnating place, I break the power. I lose my feet from any stronghold. Rukobo, Pata Rukote, Takoro Shekaradado, Miko Son Takado, Manto Kurikabande. From now on, we're going forward in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are marching forward. The church is marching forward. We are advancing. God is doing a new thing. Therefore, no more stagnation. No more setbacks. No more marking time. But we are moving forward. We are shifting. We are shifting. Why? We belong to a kingdom that is advancing. So as the kingdom advance, we advance along with the kingdom. Honda kusa kodoba, manto kusa kade. The kingdom of God is unmovable, unshakable. We are marching forward. Therefore, no more setback, no more stagnation. But we move forward. We move forward. We march forward. We excel. We excel. We prevail. We fly like eagles. We soar like eagles. I see some eagles on the line. I see eagles soaring. Makobuna kuta kuregede mento sakato. I see you marching forward. I see you marching forward. You are marching forward. You are marching forward. Oreka bande. Lukato. Mantoko. Please, if you have not shared this on your timeline, help me share in the timelines and on the groups so we can bless people with these prayers and declarations. Masakoro Boshele Lebosa. Hey! I see the eagles rising up. Makutoka Bakutokobaya. Kikotoka Torokotaya Babo. Shata Kusaba. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oyabose, Oyabose, where the eagles at? Where are the eagles here online? Mozugado bakate, yikoton badu bakato kata, makato yukoturi kado. Where are the eagles here online? Where are my eagles online? Mata pukoto, miko rando basika le debe, miko rasu katapaye, nantu kuria kadoze kadula, miko doli kadosa kapaya, doli kadika sado, masekere bode, mando boko biko buku gudi gizagado. Come on, let the eagles arise, shake off the doors, shake the doors off. Yite tu kaye, if you can see yourself rising up, rising up. Up, rising up and soaring on wings like an eagle. Zukadu sakato, mento ba kotobe, parakude kade. Where are the eagles? Ore bakando si karabakito lekeba, miko so kanayo, maliba keto bakayo, bando basi kade. Bless your name, Jehovah. Bless your name, Jehovah. Let me see the eagles soar. Let me see the eagles arise. Let me see the eagles. Ruzika toko tabaka. Mentu kusi keto. Pakado ko yiketo. Parusu kado. Mento bikurugu de kado. Manso kori kado. Mesu ratata. Tirikido sakata. Hirobo koye. It's time to fly on wings like an eagle. It's time to soar. I decree with the soaring, with your wings being spread. I decree, I decree, I decree. It's your time for taking off. It's your time for take off. It's your time for take off. Somebody hashtag. 
It's my time for take off. You taking off like an eagle. I see you soaring higher. No more limit. No more limit. It's your time to soar. Break the limit. Break the limitation. It's your time to soar. 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 Where are the eagles? I see you taking off. It's your take off season. Somebody better write, it's my take off season. It's my take off season. Menta kuta likado. Menta lika kuta do. Matuka lo tokaya. It's my take off season. Break the limitation. No more limits. Extend the place of your tent. Extend the place of your tent. Makato kotobia. Merokoya. Come out of the place of limitation. Come out of the place of limitation. Come out of your little tent. God wants you to see far. God took Abraham out of his tent. He said, Abraham, you've been in the tent for too long. You've been in the limited place for too long. He said, come out of your hiding. Come out of your small place. And now that you are out of the place where there is no limitation, he said, look and begin to see as far as you can see, as far as your eyes can see. I've given it to you. Come on, it's time to break the limit. It's time to soar like an eagle. Taking off time is here. The time for take off is here. The time for your take off is here. The time for your take off is here. It is your take off season. Masuka toko de rebeda. Parakuto bakate. It's my time for take off. I proclaim it. I decree it. Rikoto barukote yeketeka. Karosobo. I break any fence of limitation around my life. Huta ruto kojaraba. Parakoso. It's your take off season. As far as your eyes can see. I want to ask you on the line today, what are you seeing? What can you see? What is God saying to you? What are you seeing? Come out of limitation. Believe God for your school. There is somebody watching me online. You are planning to open a school. God say it's possible. God say it's possible. It's time to dream wild. Like prophetess. Jennifer Leclerc said, it's time to dream wild, dream wild, as far as your eyes can see. Oh, Rabade, somebody is time to dream wild. Dream wild, dream wild. Where are the eagles? Where are the eagles? It's time to dream wild. I just need some egos. Oh, that's you, Bianca. You want to start a school. God said, goes for it. God said, It's time to dream wild. You want to start the school. God said, go for it. The resources are there. The things God will even give people to bring whatever building equipment you need. Like in the day of David, God will send the sons of men to produce, to begin to invest. Everything you need is already in the vision. Go for it. Open that school. Where is Bianca? I didn't know it was you. Of course, I don't know you. But God said the school you want to open. Go for it. Don't be afraid. Dream why. Like in the days of David that they wanted to build and the people began to bring the wood and everything they needed. So shall it be, Bianca. 
Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hey, I release it in your life. Provision in the name of Jesus. Provision in the name of Jesus. A breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Mento ko indegaba. Mento ko bariko sota. Toriko do. Makabo shalaba. Come on, somebody glorify the Lord. For the Lord is amongst his people. Mento ko da kadoba. Mento kira katora. Your time for take off is here. Oruga bando boko shakata. Moruga de. What is that business plan? I see a woman with business plan. You are making new business plan. You want to expand. You want to establish. I even see you signing a contract. God say it's my doing, it is your season. Go for it. Mento ko sakaba. Mento ko sakato. Pali ko tokado. Manto ko yekete. There is a woman you want to do business. Miko to yakato. And you are planning to expand. God say expand this year. My blessing is upon your business. Hashando ko sakaba. We give you glory, Adonai. Send down the blessing. Your business is about to expand. I speak business ideas. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I speak business ideas. Those who are praying for business ideas, I join my faith with your faith. And we call on heaven for business ideas. Divine business ideas. Let the wind of God blow upon our business ideas. Let the wind of God blow upon our business ideas. Let our businesses be flourishing. Yes, witty ideas. Prophetess, God bless you. Witty ideas. Please help me share this on your timeline. Help me share in groups. Invite somebody to receive witty ideas. Business ideas. Father, give us ideas. You are the God who give us power to make wealth. Give us power, God. Give us ideas. Home Manduko so in our dreams, in visions, inspirations, let it come to us. We ask thee in Jesus' name. Masharaba. Janet wants to open a business. God was speaking two minutes ago. He said, Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. The Bible says, They that know their God. They shall be strong and do exploit. If you know your God, if you know your God is a provider, if you know your God is a giver, if you know your God is a God of miracles, if you know your God, he said you shall be strong and you will do exploit. You will do exploit. Believe in God and go for it. You will do exploit. Believe in your God. Believe in your God. Oh, Masaka Robobo. Believe in the word of the prophet and believe in your God. You shall prosper and you shall be established. Mantoko Sakade. Mentako de Karo. Zukado Zakadu. Mentolia Kapaya. Mento Zikedo Shakade. Ribakuda. Manto Sikanoya. Manto Kila Kadushe. Mekoro Kabayaba. Pusande Bababa. Mento Bo. I speak blessing. Blessing upon businesses. I release the miracle power of God upon any business we will put our hands to. Let the anointing of God and the blessings of God follow the words of our hand. Let our head be anointed with oil in the name of Jesus. Somebody hashtag new beginning. Come on, release it. 
release it new beginning god is doing a new thing start the business write down the business plan write down the business plan oh man ah I feel the power of God in this place. I feel like I'm going to explode. I feel like my belly is about to explode. I feel something happening in the realms of the spirit. God is establishing you. God is establishing me. God is establishing us. New business ideas. Hori baka sonde. Hori gabado shakade. Hori kado shakade, new business. I just heard the word expansion. Expansion. We speak it in the atmosphere. Expansion. 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 We speak it in the name of Jesus. Expansion. I decree expansion over your life, over your ministry, over your business, over your ideas, over everything we do. I decree expansion. Come on, are there any prophetic people online? Come on, establish it. Expansion. Let it be established. Expansion. We decree expansion. We release expansion. We decree expansion. Whatever we put our hands on, whatever we are doing, we release this word over it. We say expand. Expansion. Molokoya. Hoshakataya. Expansion. Sometimes God speaks one word. And that word carries so much power. Sometimes one word is all you need in your spirit. I decree expansion in my home. Expansion over my ministry. Expansion in the name of Jesus. Over my children. Over Kasuka Baba. Expansion in the name of Jesus. Rotoba Kashande. Rotobando Bokoya. Expansion. God bless you, Nancy. Expansion. I am decreeing and proclaiming. Expansion. We we expand. Likoto Baba. You shall burst forth on the east, the west, the north, and the south. Oh, expansion. 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 This word need to catch somebody's spirit. This word need to catch somebody's spirit. Expansion. When God begins to speak expansion, you better believe he's serious. Marco Sokote. Marco Sokote. Expansion. Neboko Sakataya. Masakaye. Mosakaye. Hallelujah. Expansion. Oh, glory. Glory. There is so much power and anointing upon that word. Expansion. Hora bashakate. Hora bakaso. Hallelujah. Come and receive this presence. You are wonderful God. You are wonderful God. You are wonderful God. Expansion. God is expanding you. God is expanding you. Come and receive it. You are wonderful. You are wonderful God. You are wonderful. Alba Elizabeth. 
everything you do with God is by faith. If you feel in your heart you need to start a business, it is not a bad thing. God wants to bless you. Put it in the hands of God and move by faith. Expansion. You are worthy, God. You are wonderful. I just feel the spirit. That word expansion is becoming flesh. It's becoming flesh. Receive it. Take the expansion. God said, I'm doing a new thing. A new thing. You will soar like an eagle. No more limitation. Fear not, I'm expanding you. And when we started, he said, I will cause a pathway in the seas for you. It means God will make a way where there seems to be no way. We give you glory. God bless you, Kathleen. As you ask God of blessing, may He bless you abundantly. You are blessed and highly favored. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy. Somebody praise the name of Jehovah. Come on, praise the name of Jehovah. Glorify the name of Jehovah. Expansion. Expansion. God is expanding Zion. Hey! Mosaka Boro Wodege Zodega. Mosaka Labaya. Makodo Eshelelebo. Expand my mind. Expand my ideas. No more limitations. No more setbacks. No more stagnation. You're moving forward. <clears throat> forward in Jesus' name. Paradogoshe. King of glory. You are Judah Lion. Rain. Jesus rain. Come on, ask Jesus to rain in your life. Ask him to rain in your business. Rain. Come on. Receive your expansion. God bless you, Daniel. Receive your expansion. Jesus rain. Jesus rain. You are the rock of ages. You are the healing savior. Reign. Reign in my life. Jesus reign. Holy Ghost. King of glory. Judah lion. Somebody worship him. Receive your expansion. Receive your breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody watching me. You have problems with migraine. But as you stretch forth your hands. Towards this broadcast. Healing power is coming upon you right now. You have migraine. On the left side of your head is where it's really hitting you. The Lord says to tell you, you are being healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By His stripes you are healed. Someone has migraine. Or it attacks you at times. And you feel it the most on this side. The left side of your head. God said now, as you release your faith and receive, you are being healed. 
I decree healing over your migraine. Come on, receive it. You have migraine. It troubles you. Sometimes it even affects your eyes. It makes your eyes to hurt. You can't see well. But the healing of the Father is upon you right now. The healing of Jehovah. By the stripes of Christ Jesus. Migraine is being healed. We cancel that, that attack of migraine. Over us in Jesus name. Migraine is being healed. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yes, Lord. Somebody receive it. Break every chain. Break every chain. There is a healing here for migraine. You have migraine. Holy Ghost fire is coming upon you. And you are being released from that migraine. Break every chain. 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 Come on, decree over your life. You are free. Break every chain. There is somebody watching me. And I believe in it is a woman. Around your belly where you have your navel. Where you have your navel, you always have pain. Healing is coming your way right now. Receive it. Around your navel, a woman watching me around your navel area, the surrounding part of your navel. You always have pain. But the anointing of God, Holy Ghost is healing you right now. Receive it. A woman watching me. You always have pain around your navel area. And it hurts like crazy. Fire is coming in that place. And it's consuming that sickness. It's consuming that sickness. Anything in your belly. That was not of God. That caused pain. Any demonic deposit in your womb. In your deposit. We proclaim it to be dried up. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. The anointing of God is here. Receive it. Receive it. Holy Ghost fire. Consuming fire. Upon belly problems. Everybody suffering with stomach problems. I decree the healing power of God. On that place right now. Any stomach ache. In Jesus name be gone. In Jesus name be gone. Come and receive it. This is your day to break free. This is your day to break free. Malako so kede. Malako so kode no sekere. Please share this on your timeline. Help me share this if you have not done so. Just press the share button. God bless you, Stephanie. Welcome. Help me share this on your timeline. If you are just joining me, I advise you to watch the broadcast again from the beginning to receive everything we have prayed about. And the declarations and the pro and prophecies. I want a confirmation. A woman online watching me right now. You are struggling with belly pain. God wants to heal you. 
God bless you, Stephanie. God wants to heal the body, the, the belly pain. Can you just come out and say, that's me? And we can stand in agreement with you. Don't be ashamed to receive your healing. Don't be ashamed to receive your healing. If you are the one with the belly pain I'm talking about, come out and say, that's me. And we are going to join our faith to make sure that that sickness is canceled. Okay, Raquel, that's you. I want everybody online to join their faith in my faith and pray for Raquel Ego Eye for total healing and restoration today we send fire Mashakata. come and receive your healing Raquel right there receive it I proclaim the healing power of God over you to consume any witchcraft power demonic powers voodoo power whatever it is that is causing this pain we break it in the name of Jesus Sharebosa. Total healing and restoration for Raquel. Yes, Lord, heal her. Let your fire go all over her right now. Where you are, Raquel, receive it. Join your faith with our faith. Join your faith. Come on, everybody, pray for Sister Raquel. One can chase a thousand. One can chase a thousand. Two, ten thousand. When we touch and agree, God in heaven will do it. So right now, Raquel, I touch and agree with you and all the friends online for your total healing. In the name of Jesus. I decree there will be no operation. God will supernaturally heal you. Somebody receive your healing. Wherever you need healing right now. Wherever you need healing right now. Begin to touch that place. Begin to touch that place. Total healing for Raquel, yes. Wherever you need healing. Father, we release your healing anointing upon this broadcast. Heal and set free right now. Come on, receive it. Receive it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Total healing and restoration. Stomach ache is being healed. Headaches are being healed. Back pain is being healed. Financial problem I just heard is being healed. Your finances are being healed. Come and receive it. Believe God by faith. I was struggling a couple of years ago. I was struggling with something. And a man of God was preaching. Just as I'm preaching. And they said, whoever is suffering from that sickness, stretch your hands on the screen and receive it by faith. I did out of obedience. And I was instantly healed till today. Just a normal broadcast like this. By faith, I stretch forth my arms. And I receive my blessing. So as you stretch forth your arms by faith. To this broadcast. And connect with what God is saying and doing. I proclaim in Jesus name by faith. You will be healed. Healing. We decree healing. Healing. Your womb is being healed. There is a woman online. You are watching me. You have been praying for a baby. You want to have a child. And your case is severe. You've been believing God for a child. But so far you have none.
stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. Like Hannah, talk to God. Talk to God right now. You woman watching me. You want a child. God bless you, Heather. But you haven't been able to conceive. If you believe that God can perform miracles. I ask you to stretch your hands. And all of us watching and praying. For the next two minutes, we are standing in agreement that God will give the barren woman a child. That God will supernaturally open the womb of the barren woman right now. Come and pray. The womb of the barren woman. Come on, everybody agree with me. I need some prophetic prayer warriors online. Intercessors stand in the gap for the barren woman right now. She is not going to be barren anymore. She's not going to be barren anymore. But from today we decree her fruitfulness. We command her womb to open. We command her womb to open. Hey, receive seed. Everything blocking that womb. We break it and pull it out of the way. Somebody stand in agreement with me. We decree fruitfulness. No longer will you be called barren. No longer. The mark of barrenness is being taken off you right now. The mark of barrenness is being taken off you right now. The mark of barrenness. Some of you is spiritual barrenness. You do things in ministry. You give so much, but there is no fruit. But today that curse is broken. Barrenness is broken. And we decree fruitfulness in Jesus name. No more barren land. Are there any prophets online with me? Are there any prayer warriors online with me? Are there any prophetic intercessors online with me? Come and proclaim. Barrenness is broken. Barrenness is broken. And we decree fruitfulness. If you, that woman, you are watching me right now, I want you by faith to put anointing oil in your hands, one of your hands, while you are watching me. Just rub it over your belly right now. That woman who is watching me, go and take anointing oil, any oil you have in the house. Pray over it by faith and rub it over your belly and proclaim from today. Your womb is open. Can you just do that? See, yes, fresh oil, yes, prophetess. Barrenness is being broken. Everybody just hashtag fruitfulness. Yes. 
Madogo Sakadosa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Healing in your belly. Hallelujah. I receive that. Morobode Kasaya. Common decree fruitfulness. Break every chain. Break every chain. Fruitfulness. No longer will you labor in vain. 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 Listen to this word. I just perceive in my spirit. There is somebody watching me. On your right hand. You wear um, something on your wrist. Like a chain, a bango, a something. Somebody gave it to you. It was a gift. Are you hearing me? Somebody online. It could be a wristwatch. It could be a chain. It could be a bango. Or whatever. Is somebody listening? And you've been wearing it. And you are so uncomfortable. Whenever you wear that chain. All that wristwatch, all that bango that somebody gave to you, something keeps telling you something is not right about it, and you've been doubting whether it is you or it is the Lord telling you that there is something wrong with that. The Lord is putting upon my heart to tell you, take it off. Your discernment is right, don't doubt your discernment. Somebody gave you a gift. The person I'm talking to, you are either watching me now or you may watch later. But you have on your right hand a wristwatch. You have on your right hand a wristwatch or a chain or a bangle. It was a gift given to you. And whenever you, you wear it, the Holy Spirit stirs something up in your spirit. As if you are uncomfortable. Do you feel like not to wear it? But in your loyalty you want to wear it. Because you think it's the right thing to do. You are discerning. That there is something wrong with that gift. Take it off. Throw it away. Something is actually wrong with it. God bless you Stephanie. Take it off. Sometimes people give you a gift. And you think it's innocent. But people can decree things. Proclaim things. Invoke things. On the gifts they give you. And put you in bondage. Or they can be stealing your glory. Or your anointing. Or trapping you. Or connecting you with a soul tie to them. So they can have an insight. Into your spiritual life. And, your, and what I may call. I hope it's not a bad word. Into your aura. They can use it to monitor you. They can use it to track you down. So when you wear something from somebody, and every time you put it on, and the Holy Ghost in you is not comfortable, it means the Holy Spirit is telling you that something is wrong with that gift. Take it off. I don't care how much it costs, how beautiful it is, throw it away. Pray and throw it away. Sometimes it can be a shore. But the one I signal right now in the spirit, somebody has a wristwatch or something you are wearing. It's a gift. Yes, break the point of contact. They monitor your life through what they have given you. They can even draw your finances. The occultic use those things. So if you are feeling uncomfortable, with that thing that you are wearing, is the Holy Spirit giving you signal that something is not right? 
Are you hearing me? The Holy Ghost is telling you, throw it away. Put it out of your house. People give you gifts with all kinds of motives. So when they give you a gift, even food, do not be ignorant. The Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Even food, they're making that nice cake. They want to give it to you. You feel a kind of way in your spirit. Don't go ahead and eat it. Don't go ahead and eat it. Throw it away. God wants your discernment to be very high. Some gifts that people give to you is a snare. It's a trap. It's a point of contact in the spirit. That's how they track down your life. That's how they monitor you. That's how they enter into your spiritual life. They can even induce dreams. Sometimes you will see a girl dreaming that she's married to a particular man. It's not of God. It's not always of God. People can do things in the spirit and you think it is of God. Are you hearing me? God gives dreams. The enemy also manipulates your minds in dreams and give you wrong information. Not every dream is from God. So we must be discerning. Be discerning. Yes, spiritual manipulation. Be very discerning what they are giving to you. What they are asking you to eat. Eh, I made a nice cake for you. If you take that nice cake and your spirit is saying, mm -mm, do not eat the cake. Throw it away. Throw it away. They give you a nice jacket. You say the jacket is nice. I don't know why the, um, the Holy Ghost is making me to do this. But somebody needs it. They give you a nice jacket. Every time you wear it, it's like you are not comfortable. Your spirit begins to bubble. Throw it away. Throw it away. Somebody gave me a hat. A very nice hat. I wore it one time. I've never been able to wear it anymore. Because I fell in my spirit something about the hat. They put it on my head. I just finished preaching. They just took it from somewhere. And they just put it on my head. One of God a gift for you. I wore it like oh thank you, thank you. But let the Holy Spirit said, check the hat out. So I had to pray and break anything that somebody had come and put over me by the releasing of their heart over me. Are you hearing me? Be sharp in the spirit. Be sharp in the spirit. Don't be ignorant in the spirit. I am not saying that we see the devil in anything or in everything, sorry. But I'm just saying, be wise. Use wisdom. Amen. And use discernment. Use discernment. If you have a man or woman of God, pray for them. Watch over them. Because not every gift everybody brings to your pastor is to keep them alive. Are you hearing me? Be very discerning in the spirit. And I'm still going back to what I picked up in the spirit. Put away that wristwatch. If you feel uncomfortable, something is attached to it. It is a trap and not a true gift. It's not a true gift. Protect your spiritual life. And I'm going to end with this. And I'm done for today. Don't be too hungry for everybody to lay hands on you. I just said something there. 
Don't be too desperate. For everybody who profess to have the fire of God. To lay hands on you. Nowadays there are strange fires. Be sharp. Don't be so desperate. That any man of God who speaks in tongues. Lays their hand on you. Don't. Grow in your own spiritual life. Grow in your own spiritual life. There are a lot of fake fires going on there. There are men of God. Going from a motel. Having intercourse. With a prostitute. And jump into a conference hall. To preach to you. Let me say it again. There are men of God. Who go into a motel. And sleep with a prostitute. Take some drugs. And after that. They come to a conference. Where you are. Desperate and hungry for God. And they come speaking in tongues. After the mess. They've just allow themselves to do and you go to the altar call they have not sanctified themselves they have not purified themselves and you are the one they are laying hands on do you know what is coming into you and upon you do you know what is coming upon you don't be a church hopper jumping from conference to conference be selective and be discerning. Not every fire conference is a fire conference of God. Yes, transfers of spirit. They transfer unclean spirit on you. Sometimes you don't have dreams of marine spirits. You don't have dreams of people having sex with you in your dreams. You don't have those kind of dreams. But then somebody lays hands on you. You go home and sleep. And you are having sex in your dream. That's because the vessel who lay hand on you has the spirit of perversion. The one who laid hand on you has the spirit. The embodiment of incubus. And soak up a spirit. So when they lay hands on you. Because you were vulnerable. You open yourself. And they transfer into you. And you will never have dreams. Of people having sex with you in your dreams. You go home. And the whole night. You are having those kind of dreams. Is somebody hearing what God is saying? Protect your spiritual life. Don't let any and the same with women. The same with women. There are women, single women, who are still struggling, even married women in bad marriages. They are struggling with masturbation. So they open the door. For the incubus spirit and the succubus spirit. So when these women without sanctifying themselves come onto the pulpit and they lay hands of you on you, before you know that spirit jumps on you. I am not hearing nobody talk back to me. You better comment, put thumb up, let the love flow because I'm really, really, really dealing with something right now. Women struggling with masturbation. And they are preachers. They are not bad people. But I call it a struggle. Amen. So don't be so desperate that everybody lays hands on you. Your head is open to everybody. Your belly where your Holy Ghost moves is open to everybody. No. 
Check out the vessel in the spirit and be led by the spirit before you go and open yourself for a deposit. Don't be a church hopper. Conference hopper. Conference to conference. What are you looking for? Be consistent. Be stable. Have a taste. Be led by God. Not every conference invitation you go. This year, 2018 and 18, one of the things you need to learn in this new season is to say, no, thank you. No, thank you. Are you coming to my conference? No, thank you. Don't know the preacher. Don't want to be around them. No, thank you. There is a conference in the East. Are you going with me? Don't know them, know how. No, thank you. Let them be offended. If they want to be offended because you didn't come to your conference, let them be... Uh, <laughs> was <laughs> Professor Sally is back. If they want to be uh, offended because you don't go with them to every conference, let them be offended that you are protecting yourself. You are protecting your spirit. You are protecting your destiny. Know where you are. Have your own church home. Know your woman of God and your man of God. Those you can trust, submit yourself and make sure you don't receive junk. This is a year that you must be planted in a church. So you are not a church hawker. Going from church to church, they are cooking fried rice in one church, you eat. They are cooking pepper soup in one church, you eat. They are cooking spaghetti in the other church. You eat. They are cooking, I don't know, bitter leaves in the other church. You eat. You become spiritually constipated. Spiritual constipation. Are you understanding me? You mix all kind of food. Everything prophet A said we are going to the left. You run to the left. By the time you get to the left, prophet B said, no, we are going to the right. You are running to the right. The other prophet said, no, 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 no. We are going before. You try to run before. The apostle come and say, no, we are going behind. You begin to try to run behind. It is spiritual confusion. Yes, yeah, spiritual constipation. It is spiritual confusion you are confusing your own spiritual dna your dna cells don't know and don't know anymore what to follow they don't know which way to go that's why there is no redirection direction in your life and let me tell you another group of people are the facebook live videos hoppers i said it I said it. Facebook Live video hoppers. These are people who have no spiritual direction. They are tossed left and right by the wind. They follow every man of God on Facebook Live. They follow every woman of God on Facebook Live. They don't know if they want to be prophetic or they want to be evangelical. They don't know if they want to be apostolic. They don't know whether they want to be intercessors. They don't know if they are prayer warriors. They don't know what they are. So they follow all. I call it spiritual fruity tutti. Spiritual fruity tutti. Fruity tutti is a mixture of all kinds of dry fruits. Yes. It's a spiritual fruity tutti. You miss all kind of different dry fruits together. So the fruit has no name. There is no name for your fruit. Because it's a mixture of different fruits. So we can't tell who you are. We can't tell whether you are apostolic or you are prophetic. That's it. Spiritual fruity tutti. 
That's what these people are. Prophet one is doing video live. You jump and watch for two hours. You have not even diluted, meditated, received in your spirit what Prophet one is preaching. As soon as you finish a live video of Prophet one and Prophet two is doing a live video, you jump over. And you watch Prophet 2. Prophet 2 is not even finished. You see Apostle 3 is doing a video, live video. You go and watch. And you invite your friends. Your friends are tired of you. That's why when you invite them to watch videos, they no longer follow you because they're tired. They are tired. You have to have a direction. You can't be going to Amsterdam and Rotterdam at the same time. We have to be able to know if you are going to America or England. But we can't see your leg, one in England and the other one towards uh, Canada. And you're trying to turn your shoulder towards um, America or wherever. We must have a direction. How can you reach your destination trying to follow all different directions? Have a direction. In this season of a new beginning, you must be sure to be discerning and have a plan, a game plan, a direction. If you want to grow in the apostolic, follow the greatest among the apostolic movement and stick with them. Be loyal. Be faithful. That's how you grow. That's how you excel. Don't be a master, a jack of all trades, a master of none. Do not be, I repeat, do not be a jack of all trades, a master of none. Focus on one thing and become a master in that thing. But when you are jumping from left and right, you can never become a major in every, anything. You will be a minor in every area. But in this season, you must decide to be major. Somebody hashtag major. You must determine to be major in whatever you do. Are you hearing me? Be major. Decide. To be the greatest, to excel in your area, be, become, become an expert in a particular area. Don't be a spiritual, you know, fruity tutti, mixture of all different fruits. No more fruity tutti. Amen? No more. No more, I will repeat it, no more fruity tutti. Yes, do not be a jack of all trades and master of none. No more fruity tutti. Have a direction. If you like mango, stick with mango long enough to discover all the different dimensions of mango. You understand? If you like pear, Choose pear for a while and eat that pear until you understand the, all the different dimensions of a pear. Don't be joining pear, mango, this, that. You become constipated, my dear. You become constipated. Yes, Dr. Jennifer, have a direction and measure in that. Don't be jumping from one live video to the other. I have, look, I'm, I'm, I'm really done. I'm really done. I have people. I know where I'm going. I know who I am. So there are many great men of God out there. Nothing wrong with them. But the thing is, they are not going to my direction. They are not feeding me in the season what I need. So I don't watch their live videos. I'm not just that to be collecting. Amen. Whoa, powerful. Hey, what? No, I watch a video with a purpose. I watch a man of God with a purpose. I want to take something to improve myself. 
They are going my direction and they've been through where I'm trying to go. So I can learn from them. I can glean from them. I am an apostle and I am prophetic. So I choose the best apostles to watch. They can be one or two or three. I don't watch too many people. I don't watch too many people. If I find one or two great apostles who are feeding my soul, number one is my spiritual father, Apostle Ryan Lestrange. I watch him constantly. So he feeds my soul. And I can have one more that I, I, I glean a bit from. Amen. And there are prophetic people that I, 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 I am in the prophetic. I also glean from. So I know my area. I know my dimension. I know my area of where God has planted me, where I need to go. So I purposeful, you know, choose those people and watch only them because I don't want to be distracted. In every season, God will bring a particular voice in your life. Who is that voice for you in this season? Apostle Ryan Lestrange is the voice for me in this season. So he is the one that I stalk him. I stalk his YouTube. I stalk his Facebook. I stalk his um, Instagram. Whatever he is preaching, I want to receive. Because that's the voice for me for this season. So I don't have to be jumping from left and right. And then I have um, a spiritual constipation. And confusion. So you must be purposeful. Amen. In your going to look for, uh, uh, you don't have to look 20,000 videos per day. You can look one live video, for example, like this one. There is so much material in this. Have you digested and meditated on and activate and receive everything God is speaking to you through this broadcast? If the answer is no, so why will you jump again the next one hour or today and go and look at another program two hours more and still you are not growing? If I find a broadcast that was useful to me, I watch it over and over to gain all the points more, to gain the prayers more. I marinate myself in that. I don't jump from video to video. From word to word, I receive one word and I run with it. Are you hearing me? I receive one word, I can watch one video for the whole week. Because I repeat it over and over and over to gain everything that came through it. That's how you grow. That's how you mature yourself. Amen. So thank you for being with me today. I think we've had enough time and I've poured out everything that I had in my spirit. Are you blessed? If you are blessed, let me see some hashtag I'm blessed. I just want a few people remaining. If you've been blessed, let me get some hashtag this bless me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let me know if you've been blessed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, wow. Wow, so many people blessed. Blessed. Bless you, Dr. Jennifer. Bless you, Shamir. Gwendoline in the house, Prophet Sally, Sister Bianca, bless you, Alba Elizabeth, bless you, God bless you. Please help me to continue sharing this. Bless you, Sister Tinike. And if you are just joining me, this is one broadcast you really have to go back and watch in your quiet time. Because the prayers were really fine. Oh, Shami, God bless you, Shami, highly favored of God. God bless you. You just want to play this in your bedroom. God bless you, Sister Janet. 
You just want to play this broadcast over and over in your bedroom, in your house, and just gain back the points. Because there were prophecies that were released and declarations and fiery prayers that you can't really play with. God bless you, Koning Van de Hemel Father. God bless you. And for all the women, if you didn't see the broadcast of yesterday, it's on my page, on my timeline. You really need to watch it. It was all about women embracing your natural beauty. You are beautiful just the way you are. Amen. So as you see, I don't do makeup to encourage you to be free. So go to my timeline. All the women really need to watch the broadcast I did last night. It is called, This Broadcast is All About You. I spoke about women embracing themselves. Whether you have a dark spot, stretch mark, whatever. I want you women to come to a place where you believe in yourself. I gave so many points. So go on my timeline. Watch it please. Share it. God bless you. So if you have not liked my page, I encourage you to like this page and share my page with your friends. Keep your eyes. Maryland, God bless you. God bless you, Sister Ingrid. Yes, that, that broadcast of last night was powerful. Really powerful. It will heal women. It will heal women. On that broadcast of last night, I also shared my personal struggles. As a woman, we all have our areas of insecurities. But then I gave guidelines on how to deal with those insecurities. Amen. So until I come your way again, be blessed. Yes, Dr. Jennifer, you need to check out that video. It will bless you, I'm telling you. Lately, for the last two months, I don't do makeup. I go everywhere without makeup. I am not against makeup. Amen. I am not against makeup. I'm just saying, I will, still, I will still do makeup. I still have makeup. I still buy makeup. But I'm just saying, we shouldn't be so possessed and so controlled by makeup, thinking that we cannot go to the shop without makeup and, and feeling insecure, like you want to hide your face, covering yourself. You are beautiful just the way you are. Whether you have gained weight, they call you big, fat, skinny, thin. That's just men. That's just women, people talking. But God said you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Any questions? Because I'm done. I'm done for today. God bless you, Sister Anna. Wow, you throw your makeup away. That's good. Thank you all. Please like my page, Claire Revealed Ministries. If you feel to sow a financial seed, you can also sow a seed through my PayPal or through the bank account. I will put the bank account at the end of this broadcast so that you have it should in case you need it. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Jesus. You guys are champions. Thank you for being with me. God bless you to Sister Anne. Thank you, Lord. If you need a church home, we have a church home in Rotterdam. You can come and visit us. Amen.
God bless you, Daniel. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I encourage you to be very prayerful. Pray daily. Amen. Pick up your Bible. Dust it off. Get back to prayer. Get back to God. Get back on fire. We are going for gold. We are going for gold. It's a new beginning. going for gold. Please share this on your timeline to help other people to get this prayer at work. 